I do have power requirements. Like all of this needs power. And I get it from this. And I want to thank Blue Eddy for sponsoring this video. Hey everybody, Rick from Time to Explore. And today, with all this stuff, I'm working on the Explorer. I've got the uh, Blue Eddy EB3A. I've had this since uh, January. So it's now March, so two and a half months-ish for, this is 2023, the one I'm filming. And why did I get a power box? And why did I get the Blue Eddy EB3A? Because I have over here auxiliary battery for the Explorer. That's getting reworked. I'm putting, uh, upgrading the batteries and some wiring and just, but that does the same as this. This I can take anywhere. That is stuck to the vehicle. This is why I needed this. And, all right. The Blue Eddy EB3A. 600 watts on the AC side. The battery capacity is 260 watt hours. Uh, so your input is here. I've got solar on the roof and AC coming in to charge it. And right now I've got 22 watts going in. I'm on the extension cord. It's overcast. We're expecting snow like any minute. So not ideal for uh, recharging, but it is gone up 5% uh, since I set the camera up. So it is getting something. All of this and all the batteries that go with it. That's why I charge with it. So not always do I have the Explorer when I go out. I take my mountain bike. So I need something to charge the lights, the computer, the flashy lights so I don't get run over. And everything's USB nowadays, right? USB, A, B, mini, micro, whatever. USB C seems to be the standard now. I'm glad I could finally get onto something all across the boards. So, nine devices can be charged with this at once. Wireless charging on top, and I'll give you a, a little uh, note in the description. If your phone charges and then stops charging immediately, it's not the box. It's a setting on your phone. I'll put the uh, setting menu in the description. So it's kind of sectioned off here. This little bottom section is your input. So as I said, I've got solar coming in and AC power. So I combine it. There's six ways to recharge this. So I can use the AC by itself, the solar by itself, the combination of the two. I can also run this, charge it from a generator. Uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter. So AC, solar, AC and solar, 12 volt generator, and AC and the adapter. So I'm assuming the adapter is this. I'm not sure what the manual uh, is referring to in the, uh, the adapter, but multiple ways to charge it, which is one of the features that I was looking for in a power station. The, uh, the app. We'll show you the app right now. So... So this is the uh, Blue Eddy app. So you download it from the App Store or Google Play. And then you need Bluetooth enabled. And this shows you your charge percentage. If you have your DC and AC outlets on. Your input. So let's plug it in.
and the green light comes on for on the grid. It's fully charged, so it's not going to show anything. But you can turn your DC and your AC off. Just touching the buttons. You can restart the unit from the power button here in the center. Shows you the last time you were online with it. I thought there was an area where you could turn the flashlight on. Right here. LED light. SOS high medium. Put it in eco mode, which will. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn the device off after, I believe, four hours. Power lifting is when you want to uh, have the 1200 watt uh, surge turned on. So if you need to run a heat gun or something with high power demand, then that's where you turn that on and off. Suitable for powering 1200 watt max, heating devices, pressure sensitive load, the rated output. Power remains 600 watts. Do not power refrigerator, air conditioner, etc. Okay. So that's how you turn that on. Your charging mode. I leave it in standard, but turbo. Swiftly charge to full at a 350 watt max charging rate. Always keep your device ready to go. And a little warning there. Okay. Go shut down, yeah, four hours. That's what I thought. Turn that off. Not sure what sharing the device uses. Share it to another phone. I don't know. You can edit the device name. If you have more than one, you can name them. And that's the app in a nutshell. Turn the DC and the AC on. We'll shut the whole thing off. <coughs> you sure you want to power this off this device? Yes. So there's the app. Easy peasy. You do have to uh, create an account and uh, it's simple. I just add your email address. Create a password. So, as I mentioned, uh, when there's times where I need power, not from the Explorer, but from a portable power station, because I do remote podcast, this needs to be recharged. I can get eight hours out of that. The battery plus the two spares I have for my Canon, my X3 and the other batteries for that. Got three action cameras, all with two batteries. As I said the uh, compute computer and uh, lights for my bicycle, my drone, and uh, three batteries for it plus a controller. So winter time, I've used. The Blue Eddy to power my diesel heater. It is probably the largest power consumer I have for outdoor activities. When it starts up, it peaks at 125 watts, which you can see on the screen. I'll show you some of that in a second. And my cooler slash heater, or warmer, I should say, in my console runs off of this as well. So the beauty of this one is I can charge it and use it at the same time. Not all of them have a pass-through technology like that. Uh, in the app, you've seen the power lifting mode, which puts your AC at 1200 watts for surging. I'm not sure what the uh, how long it would last, 
because on your screen you have your input right now i'm showing 21 watts actually let me grab the camera and i'll show you instead of me standing here talking and pointing so right now i have 20 watts going in i'm at 28 percent i have nothing coming out so i have 10.4 hours of use I'm in UPS mode, so I'm charging and using at the same time. So when that's and then my output's here. So the nine places the charge. Your wireless on top, your twelve volt, your two twelve volt barrel style chargers, two USB A, a USB C. And your two AC. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's a close up of your input, and it has your uh, voltage and amperage readings listed by the plugs. So, as I said earlier, I'm using the AC plus solar. Uh, it is overcast, like I said, it's a 100 watt panel. So I should be uh, putting more power into that. Now, there's three power buttons. So each section can be turned on or off. And you'll see AC and DC. And that's another thing. When you first turn the unit on and you want to use your wireless charger, DC has to be on. So you hit your power button, tap it again, your DC will come on. Turn your power button on here, your AC comes on. This one, guess what? Turns the light on. Three modes, high, medium, and SOS. So it's not an actual just flashing, it's actual SOS. And in the app, you can turn all these sections on and off, and the unit on and off via Bluetooth. Why Bluetooth? Why is it good? Well, if you need to know what your inputs and outputs and your charge rate are, what you have left for time, you can use it through the app. So if you're on the other side of your campsite, you can just fire up your app, check on the status. There we go. Oh, I know why. I have a heater going on in the, uh, the shed where I'm robbing power from. So it must have just shut off. So let me pause the camera and uh, we'll see what kind of uh, wattage we can get into this. There we go. So I don't use the uh, power lifting. I haven't used it yet. Like I said, the, the my biggest power consumer is my diesel heater and everything else is USB. So I don't have a big need. And when the rooftop tents on the Explorer, I have a fan that's rechargeable and LED lights. So, but I do have power requirements. Like all of this needs power. And I get it from this. So. All right, so why did I get this brand, this model, the Blue Eddy EB3A? And here's, here's what I needed. I needed lightweight at four and a half kilograms or 10 pounds. It has almost as much power as the unit I built into the Explorer, which weighs 100 pounds, just for comparison. Uh, the multiple outlets, the wireless charging is nice. I can set it on the table when I'm at a campsite, put my phone on it charge it, the USB, the USB-C, uh, that's what I use it for because everything's USB that I use to charge. I needed something that I could charge multiple ways. So lightweight, packable. This thing can go anywhere in the Explorer and still be accessible. And I don't have to worry about it. So lightweight, packable, versatile, multiple ways to charge. Right now, I'm two ways of charging. So I can use this way, single each way. 
I also needed something that I could charge and use at the same time. So there's another box tick. USB, 12 volt, and AC outlets. Another box tick. The light, I've used it a couple times. I never thought, uh, I have a booster pack with a light on it, and I use that all the time, especially boosting vehicles at night. Uh, this is light enough that you can actually actually push the button, dummy. You can actually carry it around with the light. So if you're wandering around from one campsite to another, you don't have a flashlight, get one on here. Would I recommend this? Yes. Hands down. Uh, as I mentioned, I've got another, I've got a couple power packs. Power pack is different from this. This is a power station. You, you charge it, you use it to charge and provide power for other devices. It will not boost your car. So there's no booster cables anywhere on this. Booster packs are different. They have a different battery. They have a different amp hour configuration. This is meant to provide power over time. Booster pack, just put all the amperage you can into the dead battery. So that's about as simple as I could explain the difference. Uh, again, I'm not an electronics expert or battery technician, so. I think that covers everything for the Blue Eddy EB3A. So I'm going to let this continue charging, put my cameras away, and check on, uh, see if I need to charge anything for tomorrow's shoot. I think everything's topped up. And, guys, see you in the next one. Cheers.